We up and I'm feeling like a new me. Stacking new sets, some new E. Uh, NFTs, all of them you need. All of them. Back in my zone like two, three. All time high, hit a new peak. Let's go. Homie, the bulls is back. I said the bulls is back. GM, welcome back to the channel. In this one, a quick run through of Wales markets here as we approach the JUP airdrop and token release in the next couple of days. So I'm going to show you how you go about actually buying some of these pre-market tokens a little bit on Wales markets, not a deep dive necessarily though. And just talking through JUP as it comes out on the 31st of January here. So if you enjoy this one, make sure you do subscribe to the channel, click all the buttons down below, leave me a comment, all that good stuff. Let's jump in. So Wales markets here, this is essentially an OTC points and pre-markets. You may have seen Aveo. This is something very similar, but it is focused on Solana. So if we just go onto Wales markets and pre-market here, and from this, what you're going to be able to see is on these pre-market tokens, we have JUP. So people have put up the intent to sell their JUP airdrops in the coming days, and they want to cash in on these tokens before the actual open market occurs. So from my understanding here, these will settle upon the token actually launching. I don't think we can get rugged by these people saying, no, I don't want to actually sell mine because the actual market price is now higher than these values listed here. But we on the flip side to this, we can actually pull out our bids uh, prior to this going live on the 31st. So here is the pre-market section. Just check out the stuff on the left-hand side. There's also OTC markets. Need to be very careful about those. People are listing scam tokens. One way to avoid the scam token issue is to, of course, find the contract address of your token. So say we come to Jupiter here on CoinGecko, you can see the contract address down there. So if you were to copy that and paste it into, if it was an OTC market, into there, you'd be able to see that it doesn't match up with some of the other ones listed on there. Anyway, how do you buy JUP tokens here? So we can see there are people who are willing to sell their allocations early. What this interface shows us is the JUP token, how much of the allocation this person is willing to sell has been sold thus far, the price at which they are willing to sell. So roughly we're trading around 68, 69 cents and the amount of total JUP they're willing to sell here as well. And then on the right-hand side, what token they want in return. So this needs to obviously correspond to what you've got in your wallet. In this one here, I'm gonna be doing USDC. So we're gonna go down to this guy here. You can see this has been partially filled already. He's selling 15,000 JUP tokens for 10,455 USDC at a price of 69.7 cents. So if we just click onto this, you can see it's filling up as we go. So I've connected my wallet to the sites. I've got dollars ready to go. So on the screen here, we have a quick run through. You can see the amount has now increased, the amount being filled. These are all the people who have deposited USDC to buy up the JUP down here. So this is actually getting quite competitive at this moment in time. I think this will continue into the actual airdrop. On the right, offer 15,000 JUP. This guy is selling for 10,455, as mentioned, at a price point of 69.7 cents. Currently, 12,000 of the tokens have been filled. There's 2,900 left. And it says this will start between the 31st of Jan and the 1st of Feb. So that is the 24 hour period for the settlement to occur. So I'm actually interested to do this for the first time as well to see if we do potentially get rugged by the sellers or anything along that kind of lines if this guy can pull out. I don't think they can, but I wanna see this with my own two eyes. So quick edit in here, the seller of the token. So for an example here, the JIP token seller, They've had to put up collateral to actually list their tokens for sale. So in order to get their collateral back that they've posted, they must sell and distribute those tokens. So as you can see from the top line here, if they distribute the tokens to us as buyers, they therefore get the buyer's deposits, the USDC in question, plus their collateral back. If they refuse in that 24 hour window to give us our tokens that we've tried to bid for, we get our USDC back, plus we get a proportional amount of their collateral posted as well. So they would obviously lose out. So I can only think that if Jupe does absolutely giga send straight out the gates, that would be the only reason why people would pull out of this transaction. So that clarifies the ruggability of the platform. I've got $669 in the account here ready to go. So let's just get this in line. 
use the arrow keys. So 669 USD at the bottom. So there, deposit 669. If I just click on that and then press deposit, you can see there's a platform fee of 2.5% going to Wales Markets. Very profitable business for them. This, their chart is looking pretty healthy. Click deposit, confirm in wallets. So just waiting for that to get confirmed and then it will let me know on screen once that has actually gone through successfully. So we'll just give that a couple seconds here to see if it does go through or if someone has come in and sniped up the rest as we're waiting. Here we go, order filled successfully. And then you get an area for your dashboard to see your overall participation in this and what offers you've got currently outstanding ready to be filled. So it's pretty simple to utilize the Wales market. Pretty cool as well, as you're able to buy these tokens before they hit public sale. We've seen this become a very increasingly popular meta in the markets. Lots of people doing these kind of deals before things get released. Now, why am I bullish on the JIP token? Well, we just had a bit of an insight from the when meme coin launch. Of course, this is a meme coin with no real intrinsic value, of course. However, it's now accumulated a market cap of around 135 million US dollars and it sold out the initial auction period, all that liquidity very, very, very quickly, a lot more quick than I had anticipated. And I did have orders, limit orders, waiting to try and snipe some of the liquidity for that token, but my bids were too low. It was above like 10 mil market cap within just a few moments. I had bids lit at around five, six, up to six and a half mil market cap, just got blown past, obliterated straight out the gates. So this shows me that a lot of apes are ready, willing, hungry, and ready to bid for JUP. As the meme coin did so well, I think the JUP token can do very well as well. So a JUP token, currently not trading. We don't know the market cap, but with current predictions here, of course, what we do know so far, they're gonna release 10% of the total supply. Total supply is 10 billion tokens. So we will have 1 billion tokens circulating for the airdrop. They're going to add an additional 5% to liquidity. So we will therefore be up to 15%, i.e. 1.5 billion tokens in circulation with the potential for them to add an additional 5% of liquidity depending on how things go. That is what they've positioned themselves with. And we know that Jupiter has just overtaken Uniswap for total volume in the last 24 hours. Very bullish metric going into this. From what I'm seeing, people who are not already giga rich are only trading on Solana now. They have no interest in trading on Uniswap via Ethereum mainnet because it is too expensive. And we're seeing just the shitcoin casino go absolutely crazy over on Jupiter, i.e. Solana. So Solana and Jupiter, pretty much synonymous with shitcoin trading at this point. And you can see the trends for DEX trading versus SEX trading is going up gradually over time. So it bodes well for JUP in my opinion. In terms of market cap then, so we know that roughly 1.5 or 2 billion tokens will be circulating straight out the gates. So we just go for the upper end, say it's gonna be 2 billion tokens circulating at a price point of $1 per JUP. That will be an initial market cap of $2 billion. And that would put it at an FDV of 10. I don't think people really care about FDVs, to be honest with you. There's going to be quite a long vesting process for the rest of the JUP tokens. There's going to be future airdrops, but I think they're going to be spaced out quite a long ways away as well. So I think we can look at the initial market cap as most people are just looking at that. So in terms of the second place DEX here is listed as Thorchain Rune. I would literally eat my whiff hat if it can't eclipse Thor. That would make for a crazy live stream. But that would put it above $1.29, which I think it can do quite easily. But the question is, how much of a gap can it close on Uniswap? Or can the DGENs here on Solana just pump the absolute bags, pump this thing to the high heavens, show up Uniswap and get it really close? Or can it even eclipse that? That would be rather crazy and not a prediction I would stick my neck out on the line for. But what if it does trade at $4.50 and flip Uniswap? Is that out of the realms of possibility? I think it's unlikely, but I think we can see the JUP token trade between one and two bucks quite comfortably, in my humble opinion. Hence, entering some trades there on Wales markets to scoop these things up at around 67, 68, and 69 cents I've paid today. But let me know down below, have you participated in Wales markets for the JUP token pre-markets? And what do you think the JUP token will trade at maybe in this first week of trading? $1, one fifty, two. What's your predictions? Drop them down below. I'd love to see your thoughts on this. See you in the next one, guys. Peace.